Hey everybody, McGrew with everyone back here for FSI DFS. Happy Memorial Day. Hopefully everybody's out there celebrating responsibly. Thank you for all those who are out in the military who have served in the military. Um, keep this country free. So we have um, FanDuel and DK are broken up a little bit differently today. FanDuel gives us a three game early, very early slate, and then a four game later slate. Uh, DK has a six game early slate. So uh, no weather to worry about, but we have a lot of wind and high temperatures. Um, should be a lot of offense, should be a lot of run score today. So let's just quickly run through these games. So. Starting with the first game, you have the Cubs and Brewers in Wrigley Field. Wind blowing out about 20 miles per hour. Not going to play any pitchers here. Load up on the bats. Um, the total is 11.5. So I think this is definitely the place to um, look for offense today. Uh, next up, we have Minnesota and Detroit. We have Dylan Bundy and Brew Brisky. I think Bundy could be um, an SP1. Um, definitely, I think, might be the SP1 on a fan duel. And um, Brisky, not very interested in. Uh, Twins have a pretty decent total. And I think that they'll be lower owned because I think people will take um, uh, bats at the Wrigley game and at Coors Field here. So I think they're a nice um, under owned contrarian um, stack here, but would probably be my third favorite stack overall. Detroit, uh, some cheap pieces here, but Bundy's a decent pitcher, not super interested. Uh, the final game on the FanDuel slate. Um, is San Diego Padres and St. Louis Cardinals. You have Nick Martinez against Packy Naughton. Not interested in Packy Naughton at all. Uh, Nick Martinez, he's okay, but St. Louis is dead last in strikeouts. So you're really there's no K upside here. You might eat some innings and and do okay. St. Louis at times has struggled against right-handed pitching, and he's been decent against right-handed batters. So if you're looking to be a little contrarian, which you know it's not a big huge slate here, I think. He is in play. He's the most expensive pitcher on FanDuel. I don't understand that. Um, I think almost everybody will play Bundy. So if you want to pivot off of the Bundy chalk there, um, potentially you can play him. But uh, I'm not super interested. Uh, both these um, team stack. I mean, 425 is a healthy total on both sides. It's pretty much almost a pick em game here. Uh, favorite goes to St. Louis just probably because they're at home. Um, Bat wise, I think you know you can sack either one in GPP, but not interested in any of them as one offs um, overall. Okay, so on to the FanDuel late slate and um, continuing on this DK slate here. Uh, you have San Francisco and Philadelphia, Logan Webb, uh, Kyle Gibson. Uh, both these pitchers should probably be your candidate for SP2 on uh, DK. You have Webb at 7 9, I think he'll be like the um, more popular one here. Kyle Gibson at 6 8. Um, again, it's pretty much a close uh pick them game here looks like um a 4.5 total on each side so but i think both pit, i think that might be a little bit high i think both pitchers are decent the offenses are, are decent so nothing besides picking an sp2 here and figuring out which side you want to go with web probably um has a few more like probably strikeouts in the phillies offense and the san francisco offense so I, th I think probably you'd go for Webb for that upside, but if you need to save the money to get more bats in, then Gibson definitely makes sense here. Uh, I think Webb's probably going to be the default SP1 on um, FanDuel for the late slate. So uh, wind is also blown out here at 11 miles per hour and it's um, 90 degrees. So I think that definitely probably could um, increase scoring. And the same thing at Bush Stadium. I'm looking at now, it looks like wind's blown out there at like 16 miles per hour and it's 85 degrees. So I mean, that game, that might be why the totals are 4.25 there. Um, but those pitchers aren't, aren't as good as the pitchers that are in this giant and Philly game. So next, moving on to the Houston Astros and the Oakland Athletics. Um, if people don't play uh, Logan Webb, uh, Framer Valdez probably will be the chalk um, pitcher, probably the chalk SP1 on DK and probably on FanDuel. Also, um, for the early slate, they're the one that starts in the afternoon, uh, up against the Oakland A's. Blackburn really hasn't been that bad. I know Houston has limited K upside in their a decent offense, but in the context of the slate, I don't think Blackburn at A2 is a horrible play. Um, even on FanDuel, I, I think in GPPs, if you want to take a shot and that Houston just has an off day or rest some people, is it is Monday still, and it is like usually the, sometimes the last game of a series. Um, sometimes it's the first game of a new series, so Sometimes you see some rest on Mondays and Thursdays and Wednesdays. So you just see what the Houston lineup is there. Um, 
bat wise, uh, I think Houston is a GPP here and Oakland are just cheap pieces. And then finally, we have Coors Field, 14 mile per hour winds um, blowing across the field. So um, they're not blowing out at this point. Uh, only 67 degrees there today. So it, it's a little bit cooler out there. So not as great as a hitting environment. You have Pablo Lopez. He's the highest price pitcher on FanDuel at 10-1. I think in GPP, I think he'll have very low ownership. And the Rockies have struggled against right-hand pitching at times. So I think he's definitely in play, even though the Rockies have a 4.74 total. Um, I might take some chances on him and some GPPs. Ryan Feltler is a AAA guy just getting a second start. Probably won't go more than like three innings um same thing with not and like a lot of these guys that got caught up are, are not going very deep in the game it's pretty much gonna be a bullpen game so uh, miami offense definitely like them here and i think the colorado offense makes for a decent gpp so let's look at some lineup construction we'll get you on your way for your day so cash i think like you said you're going to take valdez um for your SP1 and DK, um, Bundy is going to be your SP1 because Valdez is not available um, for FanDuel. So both sites here, I'm going to stack. Um, I'm looking to stack um, the first game of uh, the day with the Wrigley Field with the wind blowing out there, the Cubs and the uh, Brewers. So I'm going to take Contreras, Tellus, Wong, uh, Hap, Morelli, I, I think those are the core guys I'm looking at there. You can definitely make a complete stack. It, it just depends on like how far you want to go down at um, SP uh, two here. So if you're going to get as many good bats as in you can possible, and you want to pay up for like Yelich and outfield and some of the um, better guys at third and, and shortstop in the stack, then you're going to go Gibson. If you want to go somewhere in the middle and maybe not play Yelich and um, go down and play like Taylor or somebody in the outfield slot, then Webb works. If you want to just go pitching, um, Veldez Bundy works and then fill in with economy guys with the rest of the stack on DK works. Um, so then if we're looking at, um, I think that's wrong here because I think Jazz is in the, the second one. So I think it's definitely just Wong here for um, the FanDuel. But what you really want to do um, on FanDuel is the same exact thing. You can get a complete uh, stack of Chicago and um, Milwaukee in here with Dylan Bundy as your pitcher. Uh, I think that's just definitely way to go because you only have three games on the slate. If you want to get um, in GPP, definitely mix in maybe some Minnesota um, instead of one team. So go Minnesota, Milwaukee, or Minnesota and Cubs. And I think that would be able to differentiate you a little bit there um, with that. And then for GPP on DK, I'm taking Bundy as my pitcher. I'm punting at catcher, and I'm stacking the Marlins um, along with Minnesota here. And, and I think, you know, I was able to make a, a pretty decent um, stack with both teams, uh, getting them in there. You might have to take a one-off um, to try to get Jazz in because he's so expensive. But if you do go down to like Polanco um, and do punt catcher, then you are able to get Bundy and um, either like Webb or Gibson in there as a decent SP too. And um, and I'm fine if you go like if you have enough money to with it and you just want to go Valdez Bundy and um, figure out there's enough cheap pieces of with the Marlins and, and Minnesota also to make the stack work uh, for FanDuel. Uh, Cleveland and Kansas City is in the mix there, and um, I don't like either pitcher there just because the wind is blowing out very, very strong. So I think I'm going to take Webb as my SP1. I think a lot of people are going to flock to Valdez, but I think I want to take Webb for the savings there. And uh, Cooper, Berti, J. Ram, Jazz, or Rosario, whichever one you can fit in there. Again, Jazz is very expensive, so that limits the rest of your stack. Straw and De La Cruz, and then um, fill in there if. Um, if you don't like um, some of the spots here or the lineup comes out and you, there's one position that doesn't work, then KC guys fill in there too. So uh, Ben Attendee or Prez is back. Um, there's definitely, with the wind blowing out there, so much against not a great pitcher uh, pitching for Cleveland. Uh, definitely that works also. So I look for a lot of offense on this slate. I think it's going to be very fun. I think, you know, there's very few pitchers to choose from. So plug them in, uh, make your lineups difference with the bats that you use. Um, you know, maybe maybe fade one guy that you think might be popular in one position and then uh, pay up in another position. And that might be the difference that you need. Just that slight subtlety um, to beat all the like trains of copycat lineups. And then you'll take down um, most of the, 
the tournaments today. So good luck again. Happy Memorial Day. Hope you responsibly celebrate. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Hit me up on Twitter at megrower 31 If you want more information about FSI DFS, check out the description of the video. All the information on our website is there. Um, thank you very, very much for watching. Please like our video, share with your friends, subscribe to our channel so you know when our next video is out, and I'll see you next time for the main video.